Ladies and gentlemen, time for your co-main event of the evening, a heavyweight Grand Prix qualifier. The winner gets a chance at the $500,000 year-end tournament. Sofian Laiduni and Benjamin Adegbui. Mr. Gentleman, Benjamin Adegbui. He got him again. Left hook to the river. Two. In the end, the class just too big of a gap. Like. Excellent debut from the Frenchman. Well, he got caught. He got caught by Billy. And now Byron picked it up. He only wants to win by KO. Oh! Oh! He's dangling over the ropes. It is over. It is over. Benjamin Adek Bowie with a highlight reel knockout. Introducing first. Fighting out of the black corner. He is a French national and European champion. A professional record he holds of 35 wins, two losses, one draw, and 17 career knockouts. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.92 meters, and he weighed in at 227.7 pounds, 103.3 kilos. Fighting tonight out of France and ranked number six in the Glory World Rankings, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Sofian La. his opponent fighting out of the white corner. Glory's only three-time tournament champion who steps into the glory ring for the 21st time. As a professional, 35 wins with seven losses. 20 of those wins have come by way of knockout. At six feet, five inches tall, 1.98 meters, he weighed in at five time at 272.7 pounds, 123.7 kilos. He's here tonight, fighting out of Bucharest, Romania, and rank number five in the Glory World Rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Gentleman, Benjamin Adel. for this contest is Edward Stryker. This is going to be fun. Yeah. It almost sounds like a soccer match in here. You guys, listen. Fighting three rounds of three minutes. Yeah? There is no standing eight count. Protect yourself at all time and listen to my comments. Any questions? No questions. So, gloves. Back to your corner. Sofian Laiduni. 38 pro fights, only two defeats. Benjamin Adegbui. This is his 21st fight in glory. 15 wins. He is a three-time Glory Tournament champion. He looks to qualify for another one here with a win. Attic yeah, Boy's got some good kicks. The way he sets it up with his jab, just big, heavy legs hitting you. Why Dooney? 17 knockouts, about a 50% ratio. Does Attic Bowie's chin hold up like it used to? You gotta see Laiduni's southpaw left hand is a good shot. He's gonna try to throw it. That's what Benny needs to be careful of. Big swing and a miss from the Romanian. But he is being aggressive, Joe. Yep. That's where he wants to put a mobility fighter like Laiduni. Put him in the corner and blast the combinations from here. Benny right. known for his low kicks as well. Left hook backs Laidini up. Like Benny attacking that back leg low kick. Laiduni needs to get off the ropes. He's got to use his movement. Laiduni looks a little intimidated right now. Ooh. That left hand, though, of Laiduni is ready to go. It's cocked and loaded. Ooh. Now he's coming off the ropes. 
Nice combination for Laiduni. We saw what Benjamin Adig Bowie did to Badr Hari, though. He was able to weather the early storm of Badr and then found a good finish of his own. Probably one of the biggest wins of his career. Excellent pressure from Benny. Using his boxing, setting up the kick. Oh, that right hand, and then it left for Light Duty, and he's back Benjamin up. And now he's got Benjamin on the rope. Ooh. Right hand from Adik Bowie. They're just swinging rear punches. Already redness on the left and right side of the body of Light Duty. That's what it feels like. Ooh. It's showing on his body. These strikes from Benny will add up. Too low, right? You okay? Yes. Fight! Matic Boy mixing in front kicks, low kicks, big right hands. But like duty has got quick boxing. Benny needs to be careful for some counter punches. Nice low kick from Benny. Let's see if one of these guys goes high with a kick. That was a beautiful liver shot from Matic Boy. Good little check hook, it looked like there from Laiduni. Laiduni seems content just fighting off the ropes like this. Well, he's throwing so many more strikes than Benjamin. I just think if you, Benjamin's not going to back up, so he's going to have to stay against the ropes and counters punch, being the smaller guy. No right cross. Only no right cross. Yeah, kick, kick, boom in the body. Who in the body? Get this hand. Take me, That's bro. here. Take your breath. Yeah, and keep your position. Stay close. Hey, hand, hand, breathe. Watch the water here. Hey, take it. There's nothing, Benny, but you must be Benny, sure. Your mental is physically much too strong. He hurt the body already. But go out. A lot of intensity in both of those corners. Yeah, I mean, hearing Dennis Crow, it was just amazing hearing that intensity, wanting. Had a boy to rip the body, go back upstairs. On, I think he said take protection, his head off protection. was part of that. Yeah. yeah he's so, you're two. so much stronger than he is. Fight. Well, you can see the welts on the body of Sophie and Laiduni. And a kick from Benny to start it. Yeah, anytime Benjamin kicks, it just does damage. Just too big of legs. Look at that, see? Even blocking them hurts. And he's switching stances now. You saw the judges were all over the place with that round. Nice high kick from Benjamin. Mr. Bad Gentleman. Ooh, Dow mixing levels, left kick. But Laiduni comes back. Yeah, Laiduni's got to be aggressive, spinning back fist. Oi. Ray, no, come on, fight, no. Benny said it was an elbow. The referee says no. And now Benny's getting some big punches that are connecting. Benny needs to stay technical. He can't get into this type of fight. He's giving Laiduni a chance by kind of swinging in this range like that. Oh, oh. big uppercut from Laiduni. Laiduni's boxing now is a little bit more technical. Oh, the overhand left. Overhand left, and there's Benny back downstairs. What a fight this is. There's so much on the line. Look at that angle from Laiduni. Right. Showing some fancy Fight. boxing footwork here. Oh, again, upstairs is Laiduni. Look at the Frenchman fire away. The tournament's on the line. He wants it. It looks like Benny's rocked. Another left hand from Light Duty. Yeah, that one snapped out of Coy's head. Benny might want to play defense here for a little bit. Yeah, or grab or do something, because Light Duty's hitting on angles, uppercuts, overhands. Benny was told to go to the body, but he's head hunting just like Light Duty is. Oh, the left hook from Benny. This is heavyweight glory action at its best. A minute to go here in round two. It's anybody's fight. Come on. Fight! Come on. Watch out. Like Tooney just loves that left hand. It's working. And remember, this is perhaps the heaviest Benny's ever been. 272 pounds.
Jones. Will that affect his cardio? What a round from light duty. Left overhand, left uppercut. No time to catch your breath. What a round. High kick from Benny, just not much behind it, Joe. Got Light Dooney to smile. That big leg is still does damage. Oh. Good body rips from Attic Boy. Light Dooney uh, goes high. Benjamin goes low. Ten seconds left. I don't know who's winning this fight. I would guess Light Dooney. But I don't know. The judges have a very tough task as we go into the final round. Well, that means I seen Attic Boy do good in the first round and then Laiduni in the second. Wow. Listen, he's fucking tired. The first 20 seconds, he will come like crazy. But you go in with a high guard, take it, and hit the body first. From there we go on. Don't go back when he run in. Step in with a high guard. In my case, you step in cross. Yeah, and follow from there. But you don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. Come on. Short, short, short. No, so give it's not one punch. It's gonna come the punch. Search the body, search the hat. But step in close before you do it. Yeah. Okay, let's Very go. detailed Good instructions. Protection. Yeah, great instructions. Protection. I mean, Dennis Crowell, the coach of Rico Verhoeven. Hey guys, round I three. mean, that's just the Fight. right shot because Attic Bowie is going to get him hit when he's backing up. So he doesn't need to come forward with that high guard and then rip that body upstairs. But Laiduni has some other plans. All five judges scored that for Laiduni. So Benjamin Attic Bowie in trouble here. Right, right. Uh, one, two, one step, one step. Fight! Attic Bowie's gonna need a knockdown. Will he rip the body? That was the message in the corner. Laiduni's just outworking the big fella. Yeah, I like Laiduni's combinations. He'll throw three, four shots. Especially when he's in his southpaw, that left hand, left overhand, left uppercut. Benjamin's waiting a long time. Does he have the stamina to deliver a knockdown blow? Fight. Oh, look at Light Dooney. Big uppercut Ready. involved as well. 90 seconds to go. This could be a life changing win for Sophie and Light Dooney. Yeah, when he mixes that overhand with the uppercut, pop Benny's head right up. Well, I wish this one was five rounds. Yes, please. I would, this is insanity. A lot of volume Ready. from big heavyweights. Fight. Haven't seen a lot of power in this round from Adek Bowie, and he needs something, Joe. Yeah, I think he's lost the power, so he's got to try to use volume like that to try to put combinations together. He's throwing low kicks. Laiduni's throwing head punches. Like right here is where Adek Bowie should have been loading. Instead, it's the Frenchman. Laiduni's winning these exchanges. Yeah, it's the combination work. I know Benny's coming forward. He's being the aggressor, but not really putting any offense out. Where Laiduni keeps kind of walking him in, throwing that left hand, circling out. Benny Ready, trying for Ready. those front kicks. Come on, fight! Last hurrah for Benny. Last moment. Can he score the knockdown? I don't think Laiduni's going to let it happen. Stand up, stand up. Benny falls down after a missed kick. Oh. That will do it. What a performance from Sophie and Laiduni.
Adam Cooley was so motivated for this matchup, but it just looked like he didn't have the stamina in round three to score the knockdown. I mean, especially like a smaller heavyweight like Laiduni, who's good with combinations. I mean, it really wore Benny out. Benny had a great first round, but Laiduni's left hand, his combination stood against the ropes the entire time and just fought off his back foot. Now, Joe, what kind of tournament fighter do you think Sophie and Laiduni is going to be as we look at the highlights? I mean, he took a lot of big shots moving back, but he's a great boxer, and I think a good tournament fighter has to use their boxing, especially in an eight-man tournament. So you can see the way Laiduni not favorable here fighting off his back foot. Against certain fighters, he might have to come a little bit more forward, so we're going to be very interesting to see. In the second round, that's when Laiduni really started to take over with his activity and his boxing. And then in round three, Joe, we knew after looking at the judges' scorecards that at the very least, Adegui had to win it decisively, and he just didn't seem to be able to have the amount of punches and kicks needed to make a difference. Yeah, he's trying to come forward, use his kicks, try to get something going, but Laiduni, when he exploded and put his combinations together, that's when he was doing his best work. On that inside, you know, Benny trying to get anything he could, but... It's those weird angles of Laiduni, overhands, uppercuts, just odd angles. And then at the very end, this could have been a game changer. Look how close Laiduni comes to perhaps going down there. Oh, I think he just kind of slipped and yep. just kind of countered back. Let's look at our strike count statistics. And they shouldn't really be all that close. 61 landed strikes for Adik Bui compared to 132 for Lai Dooney. And the Frenchman outpaced him every round and decisively so. Tim Hughes has the judges' scores. Ladies and gentlemen, this map goes the distance. So once again this evening, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from the five ringside judges. Two judges score at 29-28. The three remaining judges all see at 30-27. A unanimous decision all for your winner, who now punches his ticket to the year-end Grand Prix Tournament, Sophie I'm here with your winner, Sophie and Laiduni. Man, an impressive win to beat a veteran like Adik Bui in your second glory fight. Give me your initial thoughts. Uh, incroyable performance face to Benjamin uh, Adik Bui uh, for your second combat. What did you think of your performance? Alors, je suis très fier de cette performance. J'ai fait une belle guerre. Je suis bien content. Je viens de boxer quelqu'un de très très coté, un très bon adversaire. C'était le cinquième. Et voilà, maintenant j'ai ma place et je suis là. Et je compte bien y rester. I'm very proud. Uh, it was a big war uh, and it was a big like opponent for me. Uh, you know, I fought a great like fight and I'm here to stay. Well, this win puts you in a qualifier tournament at the end of the year. Give me your thoughts on being in the tournament. Uh, quelles sont tes impressions uh, par rapport au fait de pouvoir participer au Glory Grand Prix à la fin de l'année? Je suis super heureux parce qu'on m'a pas fait un cadeau. Je suis passé par Benny, donc ça montre que j'ai ma place dans le tournoi. I had to go through like Benny, so I think uh, I proved to everyone that I deserve my place in the Glory Grand Prix. All right, well, you got a lot of fans here supporting you. Let's give a message for all your fans. Un message pour tous tes fans. Merci à ma famille et mes amis qui sont présents. Une grosse pensée à ma famille et mon fils qui sont à la maison. Et merci à tous ceux qui me soutiennent. Thank you to all my fans, my family who came, and uh, all the people watching me all around the world. All right, a big win for your winner, Sofian Laiduni.